It's All the Mind of God by Melanie Barrett Words can never adequately describe what we are, what is, but so beautiful here the experience of creative expression. It is the art form of this human to use words creatively in an endeavor to draw the reader into expanded being, unified consciousness, eternal love, into what is felt here. Consciousness is all there is. While it believes itself to be contracted inside a human form, then it really feels as though the eyes see, the ears hear, the fingertips touch, the mind thinks. This may sound like utter madness, but reality is not that way at all. The seeing, hearing, touching, thinking, tasting, all happens in consciousness, in the mind of God. It doesn't need the human form, it just seems that way. Your human form is an appearance inside you, or God. The confusion is that we look down and see our body, so we think our experience is perceived by our body or produced from our body, as though our body is the central reference point for everything that is perceived. We think that our body is the aliveness. We think that without our particular body there would be no aliveness for me. It isn't true. Our body is no more me than the chair that we sit on or the trees that we see in the garden. We are none of that which we see, including our body, and we are all of it. It would have been easier to come for the realization that we are not the body if God placed the viewing platform a foot behind the back of our head. I'm trying to articulate that all sensory perception is appearing by itself, by God or source or consciousness. The body is also an appearance in sensory perception. The aliveness of every form appearance is the aliveness of consciousness itself. So essentially the forms borrow their sentience from consciousness. No form is actually sentient. The sentience is consciousness itself. So all that is seen, thought, felt is God's experience, no middleman. The body is part of the experience. It is not the experiencer. Hence, nobody suffers. This is seen before or upon the death of the body. It is God, source experiencing the play of form, not the body. The body, thoughts, emotions are being experienced by God. Everything is made of and appears in consciousness. There really is no separation.